वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यूब टेक सो गाइज इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव कम्पलीटेड आर होल मॉड्यूल ऑन पैंडाज इन आर टूडे सेशन वील बी स्टार्टिंग विद अ कम्पलीटली न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज मैट प्लॉट लिव सो गाइज वॉट इज मैट प्लॉट लिव वॉट इज विजुअलाइजेशन एज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर ऑन आर स्क्रीन वी हैव विजुअलाइजेशन इन विद मैट प्लॉट लिव सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज विजुअलाइजेशन एंड देन वील बी कमिंग टू टॉपिक ऑन मैट प्लॉट लिव दट वॉट इज मैट प्लॉट लिव वट रोल मैट प्लॉट लिव प्ले इज इन विजुअलाइजेशन ऑफ डेटा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फर्स्ट टर्म दट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इज डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन दट मीन्स हाउ वी कैन विजुअलाइज डेटा नाउट डेटा कम्स नाउ हाउ द डेटा कम्स डेटा कम्स इन अ फॉर्मेट ऑफ अ सी एस वी फाइल और इन एक्सल शीट और इन एनी फॉर्म राइट वेयर यू हैव रोज एंड कॉलम्स लाइक लाइक दैट्स how our data comes to us right if you are working in a grocery department if you have seen the list of a grocery department like how every day people are coming and how much they are paying what they are buying like are they male are they female or if you are talking about a restaurant that in a restaurant if a person is coming so if a person is coming with a family with if a person is coming with a family or with two people or with three people if a person smokes or doesn't smokes or let's say if a person has paid the tip not paid the tip a different kind of categories are there and they are all kept inside the x or in the comma separated files right so now how to visualize this data like if you will work on this kind of a data that where you have heaps of thousands of millions of data if you will work on this kind of data it will be very hard for you to analyze anything to find a pattern that okay on which day uh, more people are coming to the restaurant or on which day the uh, females are there or more males are there or who is paying more tip the females are paying more tip or the males are paying more tip so in this way you, uh, it's very difficult to find the pattern if you only have data in the format of csv files or let's say the excel files right so for that what we have for that we have data visualization data visualization basically data visualization basically is a graphical representation of information and data that means uh, here you will not get data in the format of rows and columns you will get the data in the format of graphs where you, where you can analyze it and where you can predict the future as well so by using visual elements like charts graphs and maps data visualization tools provide an accessible way to see and understand trends outliers and patterns in data so as i said so if you want to understand the trends patterns or if you want to analyze the data make predictions out of it in that case data visualization comes in action in the world of big data visualization tools and technologies are essential to analyze massive amounts of information and make data driven so right now if you talk about current scenario data is everywhere if you are working on whatsapp if you are uh, if you are in a company you are texting on whatsapp or if you are uh, if you are scrolling on instagram if you are checking your weather application or anything you are doing everywhere data is there and uh, this data is in heaps right so if you want to analyze this data work on this data in that case data visualization tools comes in action now one of these data visualization tools in our python is matplotlib now this becomes very difficult to visualize the data with the help of graphs and charts but python has made it very easy python has provided with a library called as matplotlib with the help of matplotlib we can create graphical representation and python being the simplest language over here Python being easy to learn it has made it even more easier to create these graphs and charts to understand data visualization in a better way we here we have on the left hand side you can see we have two columns over here the name uh, the names are there and how much apples they have over here are mentioned over here but if i want to understand a trend like like for example i want to understand that how many people have more than 8 8 uh, apples so here we have this one this one this one and here we can uh, see th say this one and this one and this one right so these uh, in this way we can uh, find the patterns but over here if if it if i need to find it from here from the table it would be a little difficult for me right so if we have heaps of data and then we want to find the patterns and we want to analyze so graphs over here comes in action and graphs gives us lot of advantage to work on data not talking about matplotlib coming back to uh, matplotlib it is a low level graph plotting library so basically this is a library that is used in our python so again we have to install its package Matplotlib was created by John D Hunter Matplotlib is a open source and we can freely use it so we, you just need to install its package now where it could be done it could be either done uh, it can if you will do it in pycharm it, i won't recommend pycharm over here for using matplotlib because uh, here we want to see the images here the user interface should be very nice and you know we, we need to visualize these graphs for that we, i will be recommending you uh, jupyter notebook So in our next session, we will be also installing the Jupyter notebook over here, so that we can work on Jupyter notebook and see the graphs and patterns over there. Now, what kind of graphs can be created over here using Matplotlib? Let's have a look on that. So the so there are some different examples. There are many more to it. So some of them are scatter plot. This is how a scatter plot looks like, where you have scattered data. We have step plot, where we have a graph in the format of a step. It can go down as well. 
Then we have bar chart, we have fill between, we have time series, box plot, and we also have histogram over here. So these are some example of charts that are there in our matplotlib. These are some kinds of charts that we can create. We also have pie charts and many more charts over here, which we will be learning throughout this module. So I hope guys that you guys have no doubts in the question that what is data visualization and how Python has made it very easy by introducing a library called as matplotlib for us. In our next session, we will be installing Jupyter Notebook. So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.